Good morning, seventh graders. Today is June 1st, and we are on day 14 of our notes. We're going to set up our notes the same way we have been. You're going to create two columns by folding your paper hot dog style and then adding your essential question and page number to the top. Slide number three shows you how to set up your notes for today and includes the questions that you will need to answer. So today we are continuing with the articles and we are talking about the executive branch, which is article number three of the, or sorry, two of the Constitution. So under the executive branch, yesterday we talked about how the president gets elected and what the president's roles and responsibilities were. Today we're going to talk about what happens if the president does not uphold those roles and responsibilities or commits a crime. And the result of this is something called the impeachment process. And impeaching a president doesn't mean removing them from office. It just means bringing an accusation against them. So who has the power to do this? Well, Congress has the power to impeach a president. And this is part of the checks and the balances, right? So in this case, if Congress is the one impeaching the president, we would be talking about the legislative branch checking the executive branch. The impeachment is the trial of the president who has been brought up on charges. Now, the House of Representatives, being the one who impeaches or charges the president with the crime, has to be done with a majority vote. This means two-thirds or more okay, have to agree that the president should be brought up on charges and should be brought to trial. Now, the Senate is what holds the trial. This is where the trial actually is held. And the Senate acts as the jury. So the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, in this case, acts as the judge. So here again, we have the legislative branch, and they are checking the executive branch. And we have the judicial branch checking the legislative and the executive branches. Now, in order for the president to be considered guilty, it requires two-thirds of the senators to vote to remove the president from office. So here's the process laid out, the act, the House, the Senate, and the verdict. So a president either has to be termed guilty, and that means they're removed from office, or acquitted, and means not guilty and nothing happens. There is also something called a censure, um, and this is where there is a punishment for doing something wrong, but it's not that wrong, so the president doesn't get removed from office. So for today, okay, we have, we know that there are three presidents up to today who have been brought up on impeachment charges. They are Andrew Johnson in 1868. Bill Clinton in 1998, and Donald Trump in 2019. Now, none of them have found, been found guilty, and that means that they were all acquitted of their crimes. There's a quick TED-Ed video that I would like you to watch. Um, it's actually pretty funny. It's a cartoon, and it shows the impeachment process. I think you'll really enjoy it. When you're finished, there are four questions for your exit today. They are four multiple-choice questions. So have a great day, and I will see you all at 1.30 this afternoon. Bye now.